For this quick tutorial, we're going to circle back and fix this data table to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, it's got too many rows to show in one view, and it really doesn't have any functionality that's too useful if you want to export it or something like that. So we've been using Cable Extra, which has actually got a lot of really cool features to creating tables, but we're going to create one called uh, DT, Data Table. So let's install, by clicking on the Install button, a package called DT. And once you install that, just click on Install, and it'll install the latest version. I already have that version, but I'll restart it anyways. Once it installs, we're going to replace this cable function with a data table function. So let's get rid of cable extra, and we'll just type in the word or the characters DT for data table, and run. We can run line 62 by command enter or control enter if you have a PC. Now we have this our reduced EDF that we had a table. We're going to get rid of this entire line 68 and 67 and we'll create, instead we'll create a data table. And inside of this table we're going to bring in our reduced uh, EDF and we're going to bring in some parameters. Extensions equals and we're going to type in buttons and we'll have options that will be a list. And finally, we'll actually include some buttons with a vector of strings. We want to be able to export to all of these formats. And you don't have to memorize this because once you do it once, you can just copy paste, you can see which ones you like and go from there. So this is a typical data table. Let's run that and it ran clean. Now don't forget control S to save it. This is going to be a short video. We're going to do R markdown and render and we'll type in our script script onermd and let's see what the output looks like. Okay let's go to files and I believe it, uh, a script one.mb.html, this last one here. View in web browser. And I'll bring it over, take a look, let's see what we have. So you scroll down, you still have your code that shows there for transparency. Now we have this a little bit cleaner uh, table with pa pagination or pagination, however you want to say it, uh, where you can actually set these parameters too. You can have 50 or 20 or 100, whatever you want. You can set that in another parameter. But you also have these really, oh, and the highlight. See how as I move the mouse, it highlights the actual row that I'm referring to? And you can sort pretty easily. Sort by day, sort by date, sort by deaths. That must be, okay, and you can do a search as well. So if I wanted to search for, say, you know, I know what the problem is, is um, when we were in the R code before, we actually uh, only took the first 100 rows here. So we don't really need to do that anymore because we fixed that problem. So let's get rid of line 66 as well. And instead of using R EDF, we'll just straight up use EDF. We'll get the full data set in there. So EDF, let's rerun this chunk. Should take just a second. And we'll re-render it. I do it every time. I forgot to save it. Con Command S, then render. I told you I do that every time and I, I get baffled every time by it. Now I could be able to open in web browser. And we have 656 pages and now we have a lot more deaths, which is not good. But our table's a lot cleaner, but now we also have this copy, CSV, Excel, all that good stuff up there. If I want to output this to Excel or PDF, you just click on it, and it should, as long as you have the appropriate software installed, it should actually export for you. There we go. So there's our PDF file right here. So it created a PDF for us. Just took a minute because the PDF is actually 140 pages long. That's it. I wanted to show you how to create a better looking table and tomorrow we will look at better plots because this plot is just not going to do it for us.
So don't forget, share this on social media, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.